The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good morning, everyone. Here is a live look at our Martinsville New College Institute Skycam, where temperatures are currently sitting at 33 degrees. Conditions are calm. We've got no winds at the moment, and a lot of us across southwest and central Virginia are currently sitting right around that 32 degree mark. Alta Vista, Floyd, Whitfield, Martinsville, just a couple of spots. Uh, to be named right around 32, 33, Lexington at 31, South Boston and Danville at 36. So it's uh, really, really cold out there. So as you head out the door this morning, as you're packing up the kids as they head out to school, uh, go ahead and give them that fall or that winter coat as it's really, really cold out there. Uh, hot cocoa or coffee is all good to go this morning. And then some of us may actually need the ice scraper because we are dealing with frost advisories. Roanoke County, Roanoke City, Franklin, Patrick Henry, Pennsylvania, uh, Halifax, and Charlotte counties all under a frost advisory this morning, meaning we could see some patchy uh, to widespread fog out there. We could also see some in the New River Valley and the Highlands. So maybe give yourself a minute or two uh, to maybe even break out the ice scraper for the first time this season. We also have freeze warnings in effect for Bedford, Amherst, Appomattox, uh, Nelson, and Campbell counties this morning. All of these are in effect until 9 a.m. Dog walking planner looks all good to go. Temperatures are going to be periodically warming up hour by hour. We'll be at 53 degrees by 11 a.m. with lots and lots of sunshine out there. High temperatures across the board are going to stay in the 60s. Some spots in the New River Valley will stay in the upper 50s, but the overwhelming majority of us will stay anywhere between about 62 and 67 degrees this afternoon. We're also tracking a lot of fall foliage. This is the report for today. We are seeing um, high amounts of color out there. We're seeing peak amounts of color across the Roanoke Valley, the Highlands, and the New River Valley. Once we get into, um, say, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, parts of Lynchburg, parts of the south side, we'll then start to see peak amounts of color out there. So we're seeing uh, a lot of the beautiful colors that this region has to offer basically all week long. Now the overall setup for tomorrow across uh, the western portions of the country near the Four Corners areas and the Pacific Northwest, they are going to be dealing with an area of low pressure that's going to be bringing quite a bit of snow to parts of the Sierras, even the Rockies. Then this very same system is going to be tracking further and further to the east. We'll be dealing with high pressure for the next couple of days, keeping our skies mostly clear. But you see the trough digging there near Omaha and Minneapolis. That's going to be tracking towards the east once we get into uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. So your Halloween forecast for the next uh, couple of days, as of now, it looks pretty good. We're going to stay mostly clear to partly cloudy with temperatures right around 60 degrees by the time the kiddos are headed out the door for trick-or-treating. Seven-day forecast for Halloween, 77 degrees, and then uh, doing our little spooky skeleton dance there on Thursday, 78 degrees for Southside.